Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to make dynamic dependent select box or drop down box in Laravel using Ajax. We have already made this type of video tutorial by using PHP script, but we have received lots of viewer requests to make this tutorial in Laravel also. So here we have use country state and city drop down example for understand dynamic dependent select box. Dynamic dependent means child select box data will be depend on selection of parent select box. If we have changed parent select box then child select box data will be change. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database and under this we have one country state and city table. In this table we have already inserted different country state and city data. We will fetch data from this table and make dynamic dependent drop down by using Ajax in Laravel. We have already installed Laravel framework, so first we want to make database connection. So we have open.env file. In this file first we have defined database credential like host name, database name, username and password. After this we have go to config folder and open database.php file and in this file also we have defined database credential. So this way we can make database connection in Laravel. Now we want to make controller with name dynamic dependent. For this we have go to command prompt and here we have already run composer command. So here we have type this command. This command will make controller with name dynamic dependent which we can see here so we have open controller file. Under this file first we have make index method, so when we have called controller then this method will called. This method will load view file in which we can see three different drop down list box for country, state and city. Country drop down list box will be filled with country data and state and city drop down list box will be empty, state select box will fill when we have select country and city select box will fill when we have select state. For fill country select box, first on header side of controller first we have write use statement with database class, by using we make query and execute query. Now under index method we have write dollar country list variable is equal to database class with table method and under this we have write country state city table name. By this table method we'll make simple query like select star from country state city table. After this here we have write group by method and under this we have write country column name. This method will add group by clause to the query. Lastly we have write get method, this method will execute select query and return data in ray object which we have store under dollar country list variable. Now this data we want to pass to view file, so here we have write return statement with view method and under this we have view file name dynamic dependent. This method will load dynamic dependent view file and for data here we have write with method with two argument. In first argument we have write country list variable and in second argument we have write dollar country list variable. This with method will add a piece of data to the view file. Now we have go to dynamic dependent view file. So this is dynamic dependent view file in which we have already included bootstrap and javascript library. Under this file we have make country select box, so here we have write select tag with attribute name and it is equal to country. 
class is equal to dynamic and data dependent attribute is equal to state. Here class we will be used as selector in query code. Here we have also used a to attribute which denote child select box id which is state. Below this we have defined state select box. So here we have write select name and it is equal to state. Class is equal to dynamic and data dependent attribute is equal to city. Here also we have defined class dynamic which we have also defined in country select box also and in data dependent tag we have defined child select box id which is city. For city select box we have right select tag with attribute name and it is equal to city and here we have not defined dynamic class and not defined data dependent attribute. For fill country select box so here we have right at the rate for each loop with dollar country list variable as dollar country. Here country list variable in which we have defined country list. Under this loop we have right option value is equal to 2 open and close curly bracket and between this we have right dollar country variable object country. Here in option value tag we have print country table column data, same way for option text also we have print country table column data. So this way we have fill country select box. Now we want to set root for this controller, so we have go to web.php file. Here we have write root class with get method with two argument like slash dynamic dependent and in second argument we have write dynamic dependent class at index method. So when we have write base url slash dynamic dependent then it will called index method. Now we have saved this code and check output in browser. So here we have write base url slash dynamic dependent and this url has load dynamic dependent dot blade dot php view file and here we can see three select box. Here we can see country select box has been filled with data and state and city select box has not data. When we have select country select box then it will fill state select and when we have select state select box then it will fill city select box data. For this we have go to dynamic dependent dot blade dot php file and here we have write csrf field function for handled token as much exception. Now we have go to jQuery code and here we have write dollar with country and state class name dynamic with change method. So when we have select country or state select box data then this code will execute. Under this first we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar with this selector with value method. This condition will check selected option has value if that option has value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write select variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write id. This code will fetch value of id attribute and store into select variable. Below this we have write value variable is equal to dollar this with value method. This code will fetch value of selected option and store into value variable. After this we have write dependent variable is equal to dollar this with data method and under this we have write data dependent attribute name. In data dependent attribute we have store name of child select box. So in country data attribute we have store state and in state select box we have store city child select box id name. Now we have write underscore token variable is equal to dollar with input name is equal to token with value method. This code will fetch value of input fields name is underscore token. 
this field will be generated by using this csrf field function and it is required while we have using post method for send data to laravel controller now we have start write ajax request and under this first we have write url option set to root method and under this we have write dynamic dependent controller name dot fetch method So here we have send request to dynamic dependent controller class fetch method. Below this we have write second option and here we have write method option and here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option and under this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have write select value underscore token and dependent variable. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data which we can access from this result variable. Under this function we have write dollar with select box at which we can get from this dependent variable with HTML method and under this we have write result variable. So when dependent variable value will be state then it will fill state select box data and when dependent variable value will city then it will fill city select box data. Now we have go to dynamic dependent controller and here we have create fetch method with request argument. This method will handle Ajax request. Under this first we have write dollar select variable is equal to dollar request variable with get method and under this we have write select variable. This method will receive select variable data which we have store under dollar select variable. Below this we have write dollar value variable is equal to dollar request variable with get method and under this we have write value variable. This method will receive value variable data which we have store under dollar value variable. After this we have write dollar dependent variable is equal to dollar request variable with get method and under this we have write dependent variable. This method will receive dependent variable data which we have store under dollar dependent variable. In this variable we have store of child select box. Now we have write dollar data variable is equal to database class with table method and under this we have write country state city table name. This table method will make select query like select star from country state city table. After this we have write where method and under this we have write dollar select variable and dollar value variable. In dollar select variable we have store table column name like country state or city which we can get from select box it via ajax request. And in value variable we have store value of selected option of country or state or city select box and this where method add where clause in query. After this we have write group by method and under this we have dollar dependent variable in which we have store it of child select box which we have get via ajax request. And this group by method add group by clause to the query. Lastly we have write get method and this method will execute query and return result in array of object which we have store into dollar data variable. Now we have write dollar output variable is equal to option tag with value is equal to blank and in option text we have write select dollar dependent variable. After this we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar data variable as dollar row variable, by using loop we can fetch data from dollar data variable.
Under this loop we have a right dollar output variable and under this variable we have a pend HTML code like option tag with value method and under this we have right dollar row with dollar dependent variable. Under this dollar dependent variable we have store child select box name and here we have use value of that variable as table column name. In option text also we have write dollar row with dollar dependent variable here also we have use value of dollar dependent variable as table column name. This way we have store data in dollar output variable now we want to send to Ajax request so here we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. Now we want set root of this fetch method. So in web.php file here we have write root class with post method. Under this method we have write slash dynamic dependent controller name slash fetch method, in second argument we have write dynamic dependent class at the rate fetch method. After this we have write name method and under this dynamic dependent dot fetch method, this is for root define in Ajax request. And here we have send request to fetch method of dynamic dependent controller class. Now here our code is ready so we have save this code and check output in browser. Friends in browser we have write base url slash dynamic dependent controller class and press enter. So on web page we can see three select box like country state and city on web page. Here we can see country select box has been filled with country data and state and city select box has no data. So now we have select country United State of America and now we have click on state select box, but now state select box has been filled with American state data. And in this we can see list of American state. Now from American state list we have select New York state. After selecting New York state, in city drop down list box we can see that it has been filled with New York state city list. So this way all dynamic select box data has connected with value of its parent select box. If you have developed any web application and in that you have use category subcategory. Then at time also you can follow this source code. In that subcategory select box data has been filled when we have select category. So in subcategory select box has been filled with particular category data. So using of dynamic dependent select box has been very useful feature and here value of child select box has been based on value parent select box. And here we have use Ajax with Laravel then child select box data has been filled without refresh of web page. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.